So this is the process. OpenMMC.exe, which is the Microsoft Management Console. Choose File. We're going to add, remove a snap in. Go down to the Group Policy object. Click Browse for Users. Choose Non-Administrators. OK. Finish. OK that as well. Now we're going to go ahead and save that so anywhere on your computer. Give it a friendly name. In this case, we're just going to tell it run specific programs for only non-administrators. And put it anywhere you want to. Now, we're going to go back and open what we've just created. And when we open that, it's going to open automatically using the group policy editor. Okay, moving right along, let's go click on local, user configuration, administrative template, and system. We're now going to scroll down to run only speci specified Windows applications. We're going to make sure it's enabled. We're going to click the show button. And here, I've already typed in Notepad EXE, but you can type in any program you want to. But you have to know what the EXE file is, what it's called. You'll have to figure that one out. In this case, we're just going to use Notepad EXE to give you an example. We're going to OK and apply that. Very important you save this before you exit. OK. Now, at this point, we're going to log in as a non-administrator user called Bob. And even though we can see these icons, watch what happens when we click on one. Doesn't let us do it. So the group policy editor allows us to, to do a lot of, restrict a lot of things, but you see Notepad is working just fine. And as I mentioned, this user is a non-administrator user, which is why they're getting blocked. Now, Group Policy Editor only comes on the professional version of Windows. But there are websites out there, this one in particular that I'm showing you, that claim you can install the Group Policy Editor on the home version using these tweaks. Uh, I can't be responsible for those. I haven't tried them, but they, uh, they do look promising. The rest is up to you. The professional version, this works right out of the box. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.